kind of thing. Probably, probably like experience like uh, how the music industry's changed. You know, like downloads and everything like that. Do you think? What's your opinions of like the current state and how the future is for the music industry? Well, I mean, the warnings were there, and the, all the labels were warned, and they had a chance to do something about it, and they didn't. And now they're suffering, and so are the artists. So, um, I think we're at a crossroads. I think it's we we really don't know. It's kind of just like chaos right now, you know. So we'll find out hopefully soon what what is going to happen, or maybe it is just going to be like the wild west forever, you know. Um, I can say it's really disappointing that kids go and steal music for free it really it really fucking pisses me off you know because it would be like if I came into your fucking room and just took all your shit like once a month mm. oh sorry it's not a big deal it's, it's just your stuff right um because now you know what what in and I don't know how old you guys are but when we were going out there was a scene there was like there was music coming out of every city and it was like it was there was magazines and like there's a real community you know and I just feel like there's it's disappeared. Values There's no have, fucking... Values have changed. No one wants to go out. When I was young, I would go and buy a record and it was the coolest thing because I would sit and hold it and look at it. And now it's like, it does, doesn't matter. It's just, it's information. It's not even like a, a thing that you can hold. It's yeah. just information that you download. So you don't even like to say people like pay. Yeah, like people don't even care. Stuff. They're like, yeah, I downloaded it. I listened to like a song or like whatever. Like, you know, it's like, it just sucks. No one, no one has any like integrity anymore about like what the they're internet into. is weird. Like it's like a weird portal. It's like a place that doesn't really exist, you know. So I like find it really funny that we all sit on our little computers and go to this weird place. It's just. What's your finger? And about? I know I'm guilty of it too, you yeah. know, because it's it's amazing. You know, there's like so much information that you can get, but it, it's like it's unhealthy. I think. What do you think about bands that kind of can have a fan base like that now? You know, like you had always had to work hard and tour hard to get your name out there and you know respect now people can have you know two million friends and not have been on a tour yet yeah but what kind of friends like and it's just it seems so childish to me it's like we're in fucking grade five or something will you be my friend will you be my friend but really there's no there's no solid friendship there it's just it's a bunch of silly bullshit you know like what is that um what's that one Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I think I think if you use the internet, I use it personally as like I mean I obviously read shit on the internet, whatever. But like I use it to like communicate with people, and that's pretty much. I think if you use it like that and just kind of stay away from it, like it's all still right. have real friends and still. Yeah, like I mean, like I mean, my friends on my Facebook page are actually my friends. Yeah. It's not like some fucking fake shit, you know. Like I'm, I use it as like email, you know, more than anything else. Yeah, don't you miss the post? I used to send letters. I used to get letters and packages, and I kind of miss that. Uh, if your daughter said, you know, she wants to be involved in the music industry, what would you say? Would you encourage it, or? Um, and it could be completely different then as well. Can... You know, I don't know. It's really up to her. You know, she's it's, it's freedom of choice. Um, it depends on what side she would want to be on. You know, and. I guess it depends on her as a person. So she's I'm hoping she's gonna be a comedian though. Or something. She likes she's kinda of like into slapstick comedy right now. She'll fall over to make you laugh. <laughs> uh, what have been some of the best bands you've toured with? Um, we took the Bronx on tour with us everywhere because and this is what like when I was talking about like camaraderie yeah. like, between bands it's really hard to find like a match, you know, like a perfect match or someone that you, you all get along and like the musical styles are kind of similar and you kind of have like a, a love in, you know, so yeah. we took them everywhere. We love those guys. Um, yeah. Now we want them to take us. <laughs> now we want them to take us, yeah. Um, I think that was good. I mean, there's other bands, but yeah. those were up. That was like pretty like memorable. Yeah. Uh, the best or most memorable shows you've had? Any stick out? Mine would be um, The Stooges and Primal Scream in Tokyo, Japan. 16,000 Japanese fans screaming. That was weird, made weird noises. Yeah, before as well. Like... <laughs> Tripping. Uh, you've done a few like guest vocals before, which mm. is only in the pipeline. Um, I don't know. I, not right now, I think. Yeah. Do you get offered quite a few and say no, or how does it work? 
Um, no. I think someone asked me to produce a record recently, but I was like, I don't know how to do that, <laughs> really. So, um, I had to turn that one down, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, you said uh, that you hate new met that new metal period. Uh, what do you think of people like Limp Bizkit coming back? And Limp Bizkit coming back? Mm -hmm. They're coming back. Yeah, they play like Download Festival and they play in yeah. big festivals. And that sucks. <laughs> it's really sucks. Why? Why would they? Why would they do that? There's quite a few. I can't think of others, but I'm sure there isn't. Linkin Park. Who? Linkin Park. That's yeah, they've never really split up. Did yeah. Link this kid actually break up? They did, didn't they? Yeah, I think they so. Were. But they did play like Download, and everyone was really big for them. Like, really? Yeah. They're horrible. The kids liked it. I think so. Yeah. Second from top or something on the main stage. Jesus. That's a shame. Uh, what are your future plans and goals? Um, I think in September we're going to make a new record. So that'll be out early next year. And. Um, you playing Leeds and Redney? Yeah. yeah. So we come back here in August. Yeah. So it should be fun. Uh, finally, do you have a message to your fans? We love you. We love you, hello. That's pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that.